what really intrigued me, what seemed like a really hard thing to me was uh, the surgical world. And when I was young, I had wanted to become a doctor and thought that that was the best way to help people. And then someone had pulled me aside, one of my teachers, and had told me about how technology can actually impact more people. And I had volunteered as a candy striper for four years at the local hospital and had seen how busy the doctors had been and, um, and the nurses and was really trying to figure out a way to help people. And I had this insight that um, maybe through engineering and technology and building something that millions of people can use, you can help impact a lot more people. And it was like the idea of the pacemaker that really surprised me and that sent me on this path to work in clinical and engineering. Um, so, so I got a chance and got, I was lucky and fortunate at Johns Hopkins to take a surgery for engineers class. And we were really working on these robots that can be used to help surgeons become superhuman. Traditionally, when you think about surgery, it might be pretty graphic in the sense that if you want to perform a, um, uh, if you want to perform like heart surgery, you might need to break open the sternum and uh, to access the heart, and that's really invasive. There's huge blood loss, large scarring, and a huge recovery time. And in the year 2000, the picture on the, uh, your guys' is right there, is uh, the Da Vinci robot. And I'm gonna show you a quick video and then talk about it. Let's see. So there's a little bit of noise here. So how many of you guys remember the game Operation? And so this is to showcase the skills of, as a, as a doctor, trying to, uh, to gain the strong skill set of how do you, bec how do you perform uh, with extra precision. And you start to realize the limitations of a human. We have very shaky hands, and it could be extremely frustrating. So if you were to apply technology to this problem, uh, one way to do it could be to build a robot. Um, and like I said, a robot has, um, yeah. So this is the Da Vinci system. It is a commercially available system made by uh, Intuitive Surgical out here in Sunnyvale. It's a tele-operated system, so the surgeon would sit on one end of the room and it's separated by a 30-foot tether. And the patient and the robotic arms are on the other side. Uh, some of the benefits to this is that you have 3D vision, you, have, you operate through these small ports, so instead of that uh, large chest cavity getting opened, and now you have just small five to eight millimeter incision. So after surgery, you, can, um, you would have less scarring and almost no blood loss, and you'd be up and walking in a couple of uh, weeks as opposed to a couple of months. Uh, this robot also has hand tremor reduction. So, I mean, as a human, if you stick out your hand, you'll see how shaky it is. This has a filter that will get rid of this, uh, the shakiness to have smooth motions with extra accuracy. And you can also have magnified views to make any difficult tasks a little bit simpler so that the surgeon can concentrate on um, the other decision-making skills that he would need. And so... There you go. And so we had, uh, as grad students, we had submitted this film to the Robot Film Festival back in 2011 and won the People's Choice Award. So you can see that engineering can be really fun late at night in the lab. Just to share with you some thoughts that I have about the future of surgery, um, Rick Satava, who's a famous surgeon, has said that the future of surgery is no longer about uh, blood and guts, but bits and bites. So I think uh, in every application uh, that we touch, Technology can transform and um, uh, can transform a field. So I think they realize that in healthcare, you can combine technology to make a large impact. Um, we, you had seen open surgery, minimally invasive surgery came around. You just saw robotic surgery, and the future I see is where you no longer need to make any sort of incision. You can go through natural orifices like your mouth and perform the surgery so that the patient might recover, have a fast, even faster recovery time. Um, you can also, we're starting to see smaller and smaller robots. Uh, this is a pill cam robot, which has a camera inside where you would swallow it and be able to see the polyps uh, inside a human's intestine. 